Now joining us to talk about the attacks and the attackers in Paris is Errol Southers, Managing Director of Counterterrorism and Infrastructure Protection at Tal Global, an international security consulting firm. He is on the line now from Los Angeles. Good afternoon, Mr. Southers. Good of you to be here. Thank you for having me. Sir, these attacks in Paris were quite sophisticated, uh, coordinated certainly, multiple locations, rapid assaults, a variety of weaponry. How could all the planning and all the communications that go with it have gone unnoticed, undetected by French intelligence? Well, not just French intelligence, but intelligence around the world. What's interesting is, as you stated, we've seen a return to this al-Qaeda-style attack where you've got a real complex, multifaceted, meticulously planned attack that's carried out, you know, by what appears to be well-coordinated cells. What we're seeing, unfortunately, is what appears to be a lack of information sharing on the part of international intelligence agencies and a lack of actual intelligence that's being analyzed and acted upon by these agencies. And what's becoming increasingly embarrassing is the fact that a group like ISIS loves to broadcast who they're going to attack next. You may recall that last July... They announced they were going to attack Canada, and we had an attack on Parliament. And today, of course, they're saying, uh, announced just recently in the last several hours, stay where you are, attack anybody any way you can. So we've got to pay attention to some of these pronouncements. But how they're operating off the grid and away from these intelligence agencies is really a huge question mark at this point. Mm. Well, we're hearing, this is news to me today, we're hearing uh, that PlayStation Gaming is being used as a platform for terrorist communications. Does that make sense to you? It does make sense because the PlayStation gaming has a certain amount of uh, encryption in it, and you can go from person to person as you're playing the game, and if you're monitoring that from a surveillance perspective, you're unable to pick it up. So they're using it as a communications platform, and it's become quite effective. So from what I understand, there are going to be some new conversations with Silicon Valley to discuss how they need to play a role in the counterterrorism and counterintelligence efforts with the war on ISIS and other terrorist organizations. Yeah, I think it's fair to say in years past, uh, we've had a lot of intelligence uh, success because we've intercepted communications. Recently, communications have dried up. Uh, we, we have to do this, do we not? We have to get into where they're communicating. Yes, we do. And what's interesting is that the FBI just announced yesterday they're going through increasing wiretaps of ISIS, of the sympathizers here we have in the United States. And you may recall that after the Charlie Hebdo attacks two months ago, France did the same thing to enhance its intelligence capacity with warrantless activities. So every country understands now we've got to get into where these people are electronically so we can monitor what's being said, what's being planned, what's being plotted, and so we can thwart these operations. Errol Southers is the Managing Director of Counterterrorism and Infrastructure Protection at Tal Global. Thank you for taking the time, sir. We appreciate this. Thank you very much.